Hey folks, recently I've been playing around with the staff sling and have a bunch of tips to share. So let's get to it. First, a few construction tips. The staff should be at least 1.5 inches in diameter at the base. Any thinner and the staff could snap when shooting heavy stones. There is an optimal length for the staff. For me, it is around 50 inches. Making the staff longer seems to slow down the cast. The release hook of the staff should be made as clean and smooth as possible. Cutting two small guide grooves into the staff will make each shot more consistent. The sling itself can be made with scrap leather and paracord. It is 29 inches long and has a bowline loop on each end. Under wilderness survival conditions, this weapon takes just 15 minutes to construct and will reliably function for tens of thousands of shots. Now, onto the ammo. Unlike the hand sling, the staff sling do not impart a bullet-like spin to the stone. Thus, I found spherical stones to be more accurate than football-shaped stones. The football-shaped stones tend to tumble in flight. The stone's weight has a huge impact on range. I can cast 5-ounce stones out to 120 yards. Massive, 16-ounce, fist-sized stones can be hurled out to around 70 yards. The sweet spot seems to be 10 ounce stones which can be casted to around 100 yards. Like the hand sling, ammo consistency is key to repeatable accuracy. Be sure to select stones that are closely matching in shape, weight, and texture. After a few months of practice, I have some observations to share on slinging techniques. The staff's length constrains the angle of fire to a narrow band. Thus, it is nearly impossible to hit a close target that is directly in front of you, say within 15 feet. The staff sling is slow to reload and clumsy to carry around. However, the two-handed staff also allows an untrained person to cast huge stones all day long. You can achieve the same performance with the hand sling, but not without tons of experience and without risk of injuring your shoulder. The staff sling seems inherently less accurate than the hand sling. This is due to two reasons. During a cast, the staff sling's release loop will slide and creep along the hook before releasing. Secondly, unlike the hand sling, it's much harder to balance a stone in the staff sling's pouch. There is always a small variance, just a few degrees from shot to shot. This variance affects the trajectory of each stone, thus greatly reducing accuracy. With a hand sling, I can shoot small coffee cans consistently at 20 yards. With a staff sling, I can get consistent hits only on torso-sized targets at 20 yards. Move out to 25 yards and I can only hit man-sized targets. Paradoxically, the staff sling is incredibly easy to learn. When shooting this weapon, most aspects of the shot, such as the power, the directionality, and the release, is controlled mechanically by the staff itself. The slinger needs to only focus on consistently getting the staff sling to reach a critical speed. Once that speed is reached, the weapon fires automatically. This makes the staff sling much easier to learn when compared to the hand sling. After just two weeks of daily practice, I could consistently hit torso-sized targets at 20 yards. At 90 yards, I could consistently land fist-sized stones within 30 feet of my point of aim. Now, no one knows when the staff sling was first invented. It could have been as early as the Stone Age. However, we do know that it was used as a frontline military weapon in Western Europe for well over a thousand years. It served in the final decades of the Western Roman Empire as a cost-effective way to turn infantry into missile troops. In the Dark Ages, the staff sling was used as a specialized anti-armor weapon. By the High Middle Ages, the staff sling was repurposed yet again into a weapon used in sieges and in naval warfare, where it was used to hurl incendiary munitions at enemy ships. During the Gunpowder Age, the staff sling took on its final evolution, where it was used to launch explosive black powder grenades. By the late 17th century, the staff sling was finally replaced in Europe by hand mortars. Overall, I found the staff sling to be a fascinating primitive weapon. It is simple to construct, easy to maintain, very quick to learn, and a blast to shoot. Anyways, thanks a bunch for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. 
Thanks. Bye.